what's up guys so doing my morning walk for the 75 hard challenge uh, as usual <laughs> then i'll go inside and do some more walking on the stairmaster uh, for another 45 minutes um but you know obviously 45 minutes outside it's nice get to contemplate get to do some videos like this uh, live at five in the morning <laughs> uh, anyways um something i just think about yesterday is about how terrible of a day it was or i could say how terrible of a day it was uh, because a lot of things didn't go my way but there were a lot of things that did go my way as well and i uh, just thinking before i get into all the details of why things could have been bad things could have been good whatever um want to say that what we focus on is how our day is going to turn out you know i could have focused on all the negative things that happened <clears throat> and then at the end of the day i could have said it was a terrible day but i didn't i decided to focus on the good things and you know the day ended up being pretty good um, according to my list of daily activities i didn't win because i did miss one i had some stuff come up you know whatever that's an excuse uh, i didn't finish it so according to my daily task i lost the day but you know overall i would say besides that you know it really felt like it was a good day um, but anyways so got in um the night before at at 11 finally got to bed about 11 30 then i had to wake up at 3 30 to go hit the gym so already right there lack of sleep didn't want to get up was dead tired at you know got to the gym got that done the two cardio sessions went good you know but you know i was like i, I had left my charger at, here in Columbia and I had to work this weekend at BMW and it was like and my laptop died and I'm like man I hope I find it oh this is gonna be bad if it's not here but sure enough it was so it's kind of a win right there I was getting worried but it was a win um, then in the morning I ended up uh, tripping on the Ethernet cord that was in my laptop and it pulled it off of a table that's probably three foot above a concrete floor and my laptop hit the floor and it got a little uh, bend in the screen but you know it was still working so i was like okay no big deal you know we're gonna keep going we're good uh but still that was kind of uh, a downer kind of sucked and then um you know kind of you kind of having frustrations with the commissioning things weren't going right you know not connecting to things you know typical work stuff but then all of a sudden four o'clock so it's probably like 10 ish when the laptop fell four o'clock laptop goes black now this is what i do for a daily basis i'm on my laptop programming so i need my laptop okay this is you know a twelve hundred dollar laptop not super expensive but not cheap either you know and uh all of a sudden it's just black so like i gotta call customer service because the power light's still on but the screen's black call customer service hey restart this thing you know uh you know hold down the power button for a minute it's gonna do a hard restart do that nothing happens still black well you know uh and they tell me well it's still under warranty you know after i gave them a serial number still in warranty but for us to repair it it's going to take seven to ten business days not including shipping so i'm supposed to be making money with my laptop and you're telling me i can't and i can't just go out and buy another one from walmart i have to have one with a fast enough processor because of the programs that i run so like great we well, said okay well you know if you can't do that we can do a factory reset well i've got a lot of information on there that i need not to mention that 
I have software licenses that I borrowed from the company I'm doing the work with that are like at least three grand. Okay, so now I'm like, well, twelve hundred dollar laptop that's not working, three thousand dollars in software licenses that I'm at to replace, and then I don't even get to keep them. <laughs> so I'm already up to four grand, and like, oh, this is a terrible day. And then we have a meeting, a status update meeting, about what's going on with the project, where things are at. And so the boss of the company is in there, the owner of the company is uh, in, in this meeting, and we get talking, and then I just have to say, my laptop crapped out. I don't know, we gotta figure something out. And he had the same mentality, yeah, we gotta figure something out. Uh, so it looks like I might be getting a cart. Uh, for my my desktop or he's gonna give me a desktop desktop put it on a cart and then I'll get to wheel that around so that was kind of a win right there because he was still trying to work with me uh, because I'm just doing contract work so he could easily said no you're you're done you can go home so again something good that happened uh, on this what could have been a terrible day and then uh, finally was able to boot my laptop up long enough to be able to get the software licenses off the laptop and onto USB. They're transferable, it's like essentially a key for it, um, if you want to say that. And so I got the keys onto a USB. So now I have the, saved the $3,000 licenses. So that's another win. So again, whenever you're going through your day, you need to think about the things that are good and bad and, uh, and just, you know, focus on those things that are good because I could have easily focused on all the bad things with dropping the laptop with possibly having to pay back for some licenses that you know four grand worth of uh, equipment essentially uh, that would really have sucked to pay back you know the fact that I got up super early after getting in super late being tired not to mention that when I went to go make breakfast I had no eggs so I had to rearrange my meals so I could eat my breakfast for supper because I had to go to the store, you know, just all sorts of little things that were bad. And I could have said I had a bad day, could have focused on that, but instead I focused on all the positive things that were happening. You know, yes, I, bro I broke my laptop, but the company I'm working with is willing to work with me. We're gonna get something else going. I was able to get my software licenses off of there. You know, I was still able to go work out. You know, laptop's broken. It's just something, it's just a thing. You know, unfortunately, it's probably crapped out. I'm going to send it in to the original manufacturer, but we'll see what happens. Um, but, you know, like I said, just stop focusing on the negative things. Is That's not going to do anything good for you. It's already happened. My laptop's broken. It's whatever, you know, like, it's just an object. Yes, it makes me money, um, but, you know, next time I need to be more careful. I need to watch where I'm going because of wires and stuff. <laughs> um, and we just really have to be careful with that. But too many of us want to focus on the neg negativity. The world wants us to focus on the negativity because when we focus on that, we don't prosper and we stay average. And average sucks. Uh, I've been there far too long. And I'm ready to make some changes. And I'm making those changes. With the daily tasks that I mentioned a moment ago. And then also writing down my goals daily. It's uh, been been a huge game. It's been a game changer so far. Looking forward to see what a one year of it does. Yes, one whole year of writing these things down. So many people only want to give something a month, if that, you know, give it a couple weeks. You know, it's, you've got to put in the time and the effort and not focus on the neg negative things. That's what's going to make you successful. So go out there, guys, focus on those positive things and have a healthy and blessed day.